today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to ink and color your characters in Adobe Illustrator. First, we'll import our sketch into Adobe Illustrator. Simply go to File, Place, and select your sketch file. Position it on your artboard wherever you want it. Next, we'll create a locked reference layer. In the Layers panel, double click on the layer with your sketch. Rename it to Sketch and reduce the opacity to 25%. Then check the lock option to prevent any accidental changes. Now let's set up our layers. Create two new layers by clicking the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Name the first one outline and the second one coloring. This will help keep our work organized. Now let's move on to the inking process. First, create a circle using the ellipse tool. Make sure to line it up with your sketch. Next, select the pen tool and trace out the ears and the fluff on the cheeks using straight lines. Once we're done, go to the Tools panel and select the Curvature tool. Click on the straight lines and curve them to create perfect curves. After that, use the Direct Selection to round out the corners. Now select everything on the left and activate the Shape Builder tool. Hold the Option or Alt key and select the lines you wish to delete. You'll see the lines turn red when they're about to be deleted. Let's recreate the top of the head using a circle. With the Ellipse tool and the Pen tool, create the facial features like the eyes, cheeks and the mouth area. Now that we have the left side completed, activate the Reflect tool. Go to the middle, make sure to hold the Option or Alt key and click. Select the Vertical option and click on Copy. Add the whiskers using the Pen tool and the Curvature tool. For the collar, Create a rectangle and round the corners. Go to the Effect menu, select Arc and adjust the bend units to get the desired shape. Confirm the shape by going to the Object menu and selecting Expand Appearance. Clean this up with the Shape Builder tool. Create the bell with a circle. Hold down Shift on your keyboard for a perfect circle. For the body, use the Pen tool to create smooth lines with a few breaks as possible. Once you've done that left side, copy it to the right side using the Reflect tool again. To make the illustration more interesting, we're going to play with the thickness of the strokes. Select the Width tool, click and drag on your lines to vary the thickness. For example, taper off the ends of each line. Do one side and reflect it to the other to maintain some consistency. With the outlines done, it's time to add some base colors. Select the outline and go to the Layers panel. Hold Option or Alt and copy the outline onto the color layer. Hide and lock the outline layer.
Move the top shape up to create a gap. Select the top and second shape. Activate the Shape Builder tool and separate the shape and delete the unwanted parts. Add a darker color for the shadow. 